Good morning, everybody. This is Miss Jed, and I am here to do your tarot reading for today, October 5th, 2018. I am going to be using the uh, the the tarot of vampires, and I'm also going to be using the Victoria Francis Oracle cards. And yesterday, I did opening of the key, first operation for our daily reading. And it went so well, I thought, well, I am going to do that one again today. I kind of liked that. It seemed to really flow. And I also have another announcement that I have a flash sale going on for this weekend, today through Monday. 15% off all of my readings in my shop. Okay? Now, I'm going to ask God, Goddess, Spirit Guides, Ascended Masters, Archangels, and Beings of the Light to please guide me as I put forth the messages for today. October 5th, 2018. And please folks, remember these are general readings. Um, this is not going to resonate with everybody. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. The timing, there is no timing in the spirit world. These are just the messages that are coming through at this moment from spirit. And this could be something that happens today, tomorrow, next week. That you, you could be in the middle of the situation, a different place on the timeline. Some of the things that come forth might have already happened. So just keep that in mind. And this is for all signs, sign rising moon. And if you're new to my channel, please make sure you just do subscribe. And give me a thumbs up. Hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I upload new videos. And I thank you. I love you all. I love all my subscribers, and I appreciate you. I appreciate the donations. I appreciate the orders that I receive. So, and I also want to make another note on that as far as my orders. Uh, in my shop, it says five to seven business days. So, in two days, if your reading's not there, don't fret. It's coming. I try to get them out as soon as possible. It just depends on my workload, how many readings I have to do and my other personal reading schedules and my day job, stuff like that. Okay. We're gonna see what messages Spirit has for us for today. Feels like Spirit's just about done. Trying to flip, Spirit's trying to flip over cards. Okay, so Spirit's telling me they're done. This is where I where everybody can see. Okay, so I flip out, flip over the decks. Two reversals right off the bat. Okay, we start on the left. The left is fire. Fire are the actions, our ambitions, our desires. Okay. Um, the, they, they represent what actions we need to take. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and we have the five of skulls. Okay, the five, the skulls are the same as 
the pentacles, and the normal tarot deck. Okay? And so, with the Nine of Skulls, it's about independence. Okay? This is about independence. Gaining your independence, breaking free of a situation. We had the Nine of Pentacles yesterday, right? I believe it was. And it's popping up here in the fire energy, okay? Now, fi now Pentacles is passive, fire is active. So I feel like somebody is just standing back and waiting and not doing anything. And... If somebody's not interested in moving, somebody is happy with where they are at right now, okay? You're not interested in changing things. Somebody's happy with their independence. They thrive on that. They're able to go and do their own thing when they want, how they want, with whom they want, with no restrictions from other people. Is what I'm being shown from spirit, Okay? So somebody is very much, very independent and taken at, and they're not going to take action towards doing anything of losing that independence. You value your independence, okay? And this is somebody doing things on their own. I am being shown this could also be an independent business person, man or fe male or female. This is maybe taking action in breaking off some some of you out there are working for another company, you know, working for somebody else, but you have your desire set on running your own business. So some of you are in the process of breaking free from that employment status and and being independent, your own independent company. In personal relationships, this is somebody who doesn't want to be attached to anybody or this is some if this is a female this is some this is a female who thinks she who wears the pants okay this is this is somebody who refuses to give up their independence and then for for the for water on the emotional side is the two of skulls so two of skulls is about balance earth and water are friendly they mix very well together so somebody is feeling very well balanced today because they are they are taking actions they as far as becoming independent in there and it puts them in balance it feels like that they have a couple different options a couple different ways to go and in emotional decisions okay decisions that are made on emotions decisions about from the heart Yesterday's message was about, do I stay or do I go? Today's message is similar. Do I stay, do I go? It's a decision that you're weighing. But in the emotional realm, do I follow my heart? Do I follow my head? I want to be independent. Do I give up? Do I give part of me up to this other person is what I'm feeling here. There's this, there could be a brand new relationship on here, but you feel threatened that you, of whether or not you want to act on this. Because you're afraid of losing that sense of independence. Okay. And what you're thinking about this is we have the five of scepters in reverse. Okay. The, so what's on your mind is you do not want to be tricked or lied to or deceived. Okay. And you're thinking really heavy and probably on past deceptions. Like somebody leading you on, and I'm getting this message here very strong here. Somebody leading you on saying that they want a relationship. That they want a commitment. But you have your doubts about it. So on your mind is you're saying, I will not be deceived. I will not be lied to. I will not be cheated on. So you kind of protect your heart, and that's the end. That's where the, this is that independent woman, that or in or male, 
who will not be deceived, who protects their heart, who guards it, okay? And, but they're, but you're still, you're teetering em emotionally. It's like, I feel like there's, emo you are very emotionally balanced. You know what you want. And it's, you definitely don't want the deception. This could be somebody also trying to return to your life. And you're trying to decide, do I trust this again? They deceived me in the past. Is the deception gone? You're trying to weigh that out. Okay? I feel like in, on an emotional level, you have an emotional attachment to money and belongings. This is very strong earth energy here. Two earth cards, one in water, one in fire. Okay? Earth feeds the fire. You thrive on your independence. Um, earth and water mix and become mud. They mix very well and create something. And it's, a, it's like a smooth and creamy mix. So it, it's a very equal part balance of water and earth. So you maintain your emotional balance because you know you're not going to let yourself be deceived or be thrown off your th thrown off course again. And in the earth pile for the earth is the physical realm, it is the mundane, it's your day-to-day -day stuff, it's the practical matter, it's how it affects your physical life. How does it affect you in the physical realm? And we have the Four of Knives. That's like that's the Four of Swords, but it is reversed. Okay? So, physically, in the physical realm, now that's air and earth do not get along very well. Okay? They're elemental dignities. They don't get along. So I feel like there, you've had battles, and being that this is another, okay, oh, this is, oh, this is five of scepters, I'm sorry, five of wands with um, inconveniences and blockages and still arguments, they're still, but I'm going with my initial feeling of lies and deceit too that somebody lying to you causing arguments and it feels like if you've had these arguments on your mind you're trying to drop them you're not letting them throw you off balance with the four of scepters here or four of four of knives I'm sorry they it it reversed is physically you need to take a time out okay the, now we're getting somewhere. You have decisions to make and you're trying to restore your balance and you've done a pretty good job. You, I feel like somebody needs to remain by themselves because they have to rest and and they have to heal themselves. And with this card in reverse in the earth in the earth, physically you're not rested up. I feel like it's been very stressful, very, and I feel like the challenges of the mind, your mind is not rested. Your mind's very active. The mind is very active. So you need to take some time out to yourself. So this decision, this balancing act that you're trying to do, I'm feeling like you need to stay focused, keeping your emotional balance, but you need to heal. I feel like uh, somebody out there, a situation that you're in is putting stress on your physical body. Okay, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to pull the bottom card out. of each pile. I know you can't really see that. Maybe if I move this up a little bit, you'll be able to see the card. Oops. 
a little bit better. Okay. We're going to get additional energies from each element. <laughs> Lovers. Okay. In the earth. Okay. Okay, what we have here is we have the Ace of Grails in reverse. This is refusing love. Plain and simple. Upright is brand new love, unconditional flowing love. Reverse is refusing. Uh, pushing it away. Okay? In the fire sign, you are not taking action towards love. You are maintaining your status quo of independence. Okay, so I'm feeling like it, this is definitely a broken relationship that has occurred and either, and I feel like somebody, either somebody new is trying to come into your life or somebody from the past and you're just not wanting to deal with the drama. Okay, and this card clearly indicates over here that you need a time of rest and you weren't taking it. So this could be somebody that's jumped from one relationship to another, and it's time you take action about being independent, being on your own, and that having that emotional balance. You need to learn some self-love, I'm also being told here. Working on yourself So I feel like maybe you might have been torn down, okay, by somebody else, but you need to work on yourself. And, and that emotional balance, we have the eight of grails. Remember in the beginning of the reading, I said there's an issue of saying, do I stay or do I go? For some of you, you are in a relationship, and it's about taking action towards your independence for some of you. The eight of grails reversed is deciding on, again, this is, this is like yesterday. Do I stay? Do I go? And, but you're resisting that change. And this is water in water. There's a lot of water here. This is a very emotionally charged. You are a walking emotion right now. And you're trying to keep that balance. You're trying to decide. You're, I see you weighing the pros and cons. You know you need your independence. You know you need to take action towards independence. And don't worry about other people. Don't worry about new relationships right now. You, uh, somebody definitely has not taken the chance to heal between relationships before trying to jump into another one. You need time to yourself. You need to be by yourself. Get your sense of independence. Get your sense of self and your sense of self-love back. Make that decision. You need to walk on a new sp emotional and spiritual path. There is reluctance on moving forward because I think there's a fear of being alone. Because of the lack of self-love. Learn who you are. Get yourself, you need self-respect. You need self-love back into your life. You're trying to keep peace. Okay. Mentally, someone in, in, in one of these situations where you're trying to keep the peace, you're trying to keep the arguments down. That's on your mind. How can I keep peace? So you're trying to keep yourself emotionally balanced and you're not looking at... Even though you know you should walk, you're kind of resisting that. But the action that needs to be taken needs to walk away from this and be on your own and find yourself and get your own independence back. And on your mind, you know how I was talking about the seat. This is what I love. What came up? Seven of scepters. Seven of scepters is deceit, lies, cheating. Okay? Um, in here. So... There are a lot of arguments, a lot of deceit. It's, it's right here. 
And I'm also feeling like this is also symbolizing that in your own mind, you're deceiving yourself too. You think this is going to work. You think that you, if you maintain your emotional balance, that you don't create arguments, you don't create waves. But deep down, you know you need to walk. You need to get find yourself again. You've really lost yourself in this relationship. And there's just been so many lies and deceptions. Whether there was cheating or not, there could have been. Because there's the lover's cards. Or it could have been two people. It could have been cheating in the physical realm. Hello. There we go. Lovers in the physical. That you're still not healed over. You're still not healed from this. So spirit is speaking very strongly. Take time out and heal your wounds. Before you jump into another relationship. And this asshole tries, this asshole, if you're a female or the, or if you're a significant other, a, um, if your significant other's a male or your significant other's a female, that bitch or that asshole tries to come back, I feel like that asshole, that, that person, the other person is holding you back and trying to keep you bound. I'm getting the image of well, if I would have gotten more love from you, I wouldn't have to seek it someplace else. I'm sorry, honey, it won't happen again, but I feel like it's a cycle that keeps on happening. And I'm seeing nine is, is getting close to completion, be getting on your own. We have aces. We have an eight, five, four. We have a lot of beginning and middle energies. Only a couple of these energies are suggesting getting close to the end. And the reason why this cycle is not ending is you're not letting go. I feel like somebody needs to let go of a situation and be by themselves for a while. And find that self-love, that self-respect. Discover who you are. You've lost yourself within this other person. And trying to keep peace... You're trying to prevent arguments, even though you know there's lies and deceptions. And with a lover's card under the four of knives reversed, you haven't healed from a lover situation. And I feel like the, with this and the deceit card in, with this in the physical realm, this is the physical act of love making. I'm feeling the physical act of sex, okay? And in the mental realm, and communications, lies coming out of somebody's mouth, and deceit. And I'm seeing this as a, a definitely an infidelity situation that you've accepted. Come on now. I am being told of an old saying. Burn me once, shame on you. Burn me twice, shame on me. Okay? And I just feel like this isn't the first time for somebody. I feel like this is a pattern. I'm seeing patterns. For some reason, I'm seeing patterns in the roses around this cup. Uh, around this chalice or grail. They call it grails in here. I feel a pattern. I'm seeing different patterns. There's a pattern in this card and back here, how the roses are set. So with pattern, with, with me seeing that, I'm seeing this is like a repeated pattern that happens over and over again. And you need to finally make that emotional decision for your stability, your emotion. Two of skulls is about balance and stability. For your emotional stability, you need to finally turn this card right side up and find your path and go on a new in a new direction. Leave the emotion, emotional bullshit, the emotional baggage behind. So I do hope this helps somebody. And I will pull an oracle card. Okay, I'm 
I'll go ahead and pull the Oracle card. See what messages the Oracle has to finish this off. We have our card. Okay, we have the philosopher. She is about to, she is, has determination. So you need determination to get away from this. You've been thinking about it. It's in your emotional realm. And emotionally, you, you want to, you're still invested in it, but you know that you need to turn things around determination to get out on, on, on your own and follow your instincts. Your instincts are telling you that that's why this eight of grill showed up. The in, your instincts are telling you that you need to go. And the change has to occur. This relationship's not going to change unless you change it. You need to change it. You need to have, take that time uh, to yourself. Okay? You need to take time to yourself and love yourself. Okay, so this ends this reading. I do hope this helps somebody, and I do thank you for watching.